Hello, ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you, wonderful, beautiful people, doing today? Welcome to Cusco Uncut. If this is your first time to Cusco Uncut, we do three videos a week. Two of them are edited cinematic masterpieces. One of them is uncut. Now we generally do these uncuts on a Wednesday. If you're watching this the day it came out, it's Monday. Because this Wednesday, I want to uh, film and feature some snake yoga. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw me put a post up uh, this past weekend with snake yoga happening and the results of the snake yoga. And I want to do it with Hillary, my wife, because she's a certified yoga instructor. And it'll be a lot easier to film somebody else doing the snake yoga than try to film myself. You get it. The main thing I'd like to talk today about is... Uh, big changes coming up for myself. Not necessarily for the channel, but for myself. And I'm also going to eat while I do this because we walked all the way down here to the cliffs. I'm with my buddy, Matt. I won this breakfast off him in a game of dice this morning. <laughs> if you follow on Instagram, you've seen all this stuff. But I wanna share this with you guys. This is what's called a weirdo waffle. And it is from a place right here in Cayucas, California called Hidden Kitchen. And dude, I don't generally eat breakfast. I almost, I rarely eat breakfast, but if I lived down the street from this place, I'd probably eat breakfast every day and it could become a problem. But fortunately for us, I'm not living down the street from this place, but I am going to eat while I film this video. So if somebody eating and talking at the same time bothers you, which it actually does bother me a bit, I understand if you click off the video right now. But I don't want it to get cold because what I dislike even more than somebody eating when they talk is eating food that's supposed to be hot when it's cold. So this thing's got peanut butter, fried banana, these nice fat, thick bacon slices. Amazing, absolutely amazing. If you guys are coming to California and you're coming to the Central Coast, highly, highly recommend you stop by this place, Hidden Kitchen. They got blue corn waffles, blue corn tacos, and it's just one of the most amazing eating experiences I've ever had in my life. Now, changes that are coming up for me are as follows. One moment, please. Look at that, look at this. Bacon, peanut butter, syrup. Oh man. It is heavenly. Absolutely heavenly. Mm. So, changes are for me. It seems counterintuitive to talk about while I'm stuffing my face with this goodness, but. I'm gonna cut back the whiskey to three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Just cause I'm, I'm gonna go back into training mode. We've got clear again, clear air, clear skies again here in California. And it's looking like it's gonna stay clear. So I'm gonna start myself on a cardio regimen, a daily cardio regimen, get myself back into gear, get myself back into fighting shape. I've kind of let myself go a little bit. I've been talking about this the past couple weeks. A little heavier than I wanna be. And I just want to back off everything a little bit. And I'm not saying that I'm guaranteed going to drink whiskey on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm not even saying that drinking a little bit of whiskey every day is a big problem. I just want to give myself a couple of limits instead of just letting myself go like I have been. So I'm going to throw a couple of limits down there. I might even uh, cut back whiskey even more, but that's just one of the small steps. I'm going to change up my diet, implement the cardio. Now that there's nice fresh air to breathe. And I think that'll be a good positive thing for everybody involved, my family, myself, the channel, having lots of energy to put out and give to you guys, and better energy, less tired energy, not that I've been super tired, but I know that I'm capable of having way more energy than I've had as of late. And that's all under my control. So, next week, we are going to the Reptarium. Oh, peanut butter, huh? <laughs> we are going to the Reptarium for the first time since before it opened. Looking forward to seeing all the new enclosures. Hang out with Brian. Mm, my good friend Bradley is coming. And Garrett's going to come out for a little bit too. And hang with all those people. Have some good times. The family, as I mentioned, is still down in Southern California from our last little trip. If you missed the last video, we did an awesome California reptile tour. Went to a bunch of different places in one video. I thought it turned out pretty well. And, and was good. Ah. Oh, some bad news. 
that scorpion I was planning to do a feeding video with that I just got um, didn't make it. I kept it exactly, exactly as I was told to keep it. You know, me not being super experienced with scorpions, I, I wanted to make sure I was doing the right thing. And I, I followed it to a T. But maybe just being that it was an import it could have been the issue. But so I, and I was tempted to want to get another scorpion. I was offered, you know, Riley offered to send me another one. And I just, I just kind of want to hold back. I, I barely got time to attach myself to that scorpion, but it was long enough where it's like, I don't just want to get another scorpion because that seems ridiculous to me. I wish that the, I want to do a feeding video with her. I already gave her a name and everything, but she just didn't thrive in captivity, I guess. Um, so my thought is to not get another import scorpion, a scorpion that's been imported. Rather try and find, maybe if you guys know somebody who does captive breeding of scorpions here in the States, that would be cool, because I, I really had a lot of fun with that scorpion right off the bat. And it's pretty sad that it didn't make it. I can't even eat now thinking about a little scorpion. Just found it last night. I thought maybe it was going into a molt, just, you know, because it was all slow and, like, seemingly unresponsive. But Cinderella came and went very quickly in and out of our lives. Moment of science for Cinderella and a bite of food. The amount of peanut butter is almost comical. <laughs> Ah. You know, the one thing with her being an import, I don't know how old she was. She might have been at the end of her life anyway. I hate to think that was something I did wrong. Like I said, I, I did everything I could in my power with the information I was, I was given. So it's just one of those things. One of those things we always come back to when you're living, working with animals is that things die and it's, it sucks, it sucks. It's the one big major downside of keeping and working with animals is that most of them tend to not outlive us, especially dogs. There's another change that might be coming to our lives in the, in the near future. I haven't had a dog since I was in my mid-twenties-ish. It's been a long time since our, our dogs came and went. I had a pair of Dalmatians that I grew up with and come with me everywhere. And then when they passed, it was brutal. Like I'm still not, I haven't gotten a dog since then because it's like, like the heartache from a dog passing is, is real. I know my buddy Nathan over there in Salt Lake is going through it right now um, with the dog. And it's just, any you guys know that have gotten really attached to a dog, they, there's just such the, the, the unconditional love that they give and the ability to express themselves so well with eyebrows and all of that is just like, it's one of those, it's just rough. It's just rough, 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 rough. But the kids are getting to an age where we're looking at maybe bringing a dog or two into the household and the family. Cause I think it is a good life lesson to learn the, the preciousness of life and how truly special it is to have something like that in your life and then and then lose it and really give you that perspective you know for, so i think it'll be a good lesson for the kids to grow and and have this this thing they love and then as we know dogs do not outlive humans in even the best case scenarios when it comes to old age so i feel it's a good life lesson for kids it definitely was for me even being in my in my 20s or later in life i was just like to have that pain that that hole in your heart just gives you a greater appreciation for the life that you do have having lost that i think that probably makes sense to most of you guys anyway this is an uncut video i had zero plan other than to tell you the changes i was planning with the you know, cutting back on the whiskey and tightening up the diet after this waffle <laughs> 
But I hope that whatever you guys are doing, you're having yourselves a great day and a great time. I hope our video brought you a little bit of calm and peacefulness being here next to these beautiful surroundings, this beautiful ocean that we live by. Mm. And there's, there's Matt over there. He's been hiding. I thought he was going to come get in the video, but he's... Say hi, Matt. Hi. <laughs> All right, folks. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you for the snake yoga on Wednesday. Aloha.